Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa yesterday returned to Bahrain from Saudi Arabia after leading the Kingdom's delegation to the GCC and Arab Emergency Summits and the 14th Organisation of Islamic Cooperation, the OIC Summit, which were held in Mecca. His Majesty the King was received upon arrival at Sakir Air Base by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King earlier left the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia from the King Abdulaziz International Airport in the city of Jeddah. He sent a cable of thanks to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, hailing the warm welcome and generous hospitality. He took pride in the deep-rooted fraternal relations binding the two brotherly countries and peoples on all levels, lauding the Saudi King's strenuous efforts, pivotal role and dedicated contribution to protecting pan-Arab security and bolstering Islamic cooperation. He commended the Saudi leader's crucial role in consolidating pan-Arab interests, advocating Islamic issues in all arenas, strengthening regional and global security and stability, and supporting development efforts. He paid tribute to the custodian of the two holy mosques for patronising the summits and leading the Arab and Islamic joint action, healing his visions, which contributed to the success of the summits and the good results they had yielded to meet the aspirations of the Arab and Islamic countries towards achieving more progress and prosperity. His Majesty the King wished the custodian of the two holy mosques abundant health and happiness, wishing the King of Saudi Arabia and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued a circular regarding Eid al Fitr holiday. The Kingdom's ministries, directorates and official institutions will be closed on Eid's first, second and third days, and if one of these three days coincide with the weekend recess, it will be compensated with another day. The Minister of Education, Dr Maji bin Ali al Nawemi, approved the results of the first round of the secondary, technical and vocational education, as well as intermediate stages. The Minister congratulated His Majesty the King for supporting the Educational March, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for supporting education and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince for his continuous support of the educational sector on the occasion of the remarkable results achieved this semester. The Minister also congratulated the students, their parents and their teachers on the results achieved in the first round of the high school exam. He hailed the efforts of the educators in the field in various locations, including school leaders and correction and monitoring committees. The Electricity and Water Affairs Minister, Dr Abdul Hussein bin Ali Mirza, and the Managing Partner of Intellect Resources Management, Sabah Al Muayyad, signed a Memorandum of Understanding between the Centre for Sustainable Energy and the company to promote the concept of sustainable energy in the higher education and vocational training sector by encouraging creativity among university students in engineering, technology and business, as well as professionals. The Minister noted that the agreement emphasises the commitment to promote and implement sustainable energy and energy efficiency policies in Bahrain based on the interest of the leadership and the government to promote the use of clean energy for comprehensive development. He highlighted that the agreement includes a capacity building programme aimed at providing a unique opportunity for Bahraini university students and professionals, including retirees, to develop their skills and careers in the field of sustainable energy. For her part, Al Mouayed said that the two sides will work together in a number of fields and organise training programmes that provide university students in engineering, science and business management with the basic knowledge of sustainable energy. The Moon Sighting Committee will meet on Monday evening, corresponding to the 29th of Ramadan at the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs premises, to receive reports of the Shawal Moon that will confirm the advent of Eid al Fitr. The Council issued a statement in which it urged the public to diligently observe the tentatively anticipated birth of the new crescent moon in the first Shawal of 1439 Hijri and to immediately report by calling the committee to confirm the advent of Eid al Fitr. The Council extended congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, the Royal Family and the people of Bahrain, as well as Muslims all over the world. Typhex, a world of food Asia, kicks off its 16th edition, organised by the Ministry of Commerce and the Department of International Trade Promotion, filling up 11 mega halls at the Impact in Bangkok. More in this report with Mohamed Yosef. Typhex, 
World of Food Asia 2019, held its 16th edition this year, showcasing the largest food and beverages trade show, doubles down on technology and innovation. The fair is organized by the Department of International Trade Promotion, bringing together local and international companies to enhance both the business and trade sectors. This exhibition, the Thai Fix World Food Asia 2019, uh, is a 17th edition of the Thai Fix. So this uh, very successful one. And the main goal is not only for uh, to be a trading and networking platform, but also to for a sharing and a learning platform for the people, for the companies in this whole industry. Southeast Asia is, is one of the world's largest markets, one of the fastest growing markets. And the objective is for us, as per Messi, to open this market to a global uh, food industry. Um, so to find opportunities here in the region, not just in Thailand, but Indochina and the entire Southeast Asia. Um, but of course, there's also another objective to help the Southeast Asian uh, food manufacturers to get out and to export and use it as a hub. Um, so, two, two ways. The fair witnessed the housing of more than 2,700 exhibitors from 42 countries and regions and the attraction of more than 67,000 trade visitors featuring 11 trade shows under one roof. Our company is called CP Retailing. We, we service all our 7-Eleven stores in Thailand with our professional equipment and also maintenance. So we sell a wide variety of goods and services, most notably our coffee machines. Our coffee machines are imported from Italy, France and Germany. Chipko is number one beverage company in Thailand. We mainly focus in the premium fruit juice and this year we are coming up with our new VWAM packaging which looks uh, more natural. That's why the concept this year looks very natural color and um, we would like to promote um, a lot of our hero products that we have like mineral water, we have like not from concentrate where we have grown some fruit from our own farm called Hom Suwan pineapple which is very unique in the world. Chukota has been around for 14 years now in Thailand. Uh, we started off with bakery products and we have grown and grown and grown into uh, obviously you can see here uh, doing cold cuts Villani from Italy. Uh, that's the truffle parma you can see over there. Uh, we're doing parmesan cheese also from uh, Zanetti brand which is imported 24 months. We're doing chocolate, salt, uh, US, Australian beef, Wagyu uh, from Japan. Typhix World of Asia included special shows and an enhanced buyer program to connect businesses as well as attract visitors who are interested in being a part of this huge event. We are sourcing food from Asia and, and trying to distribute it in Europe. We have um, connections to European supermarkets like Rewe in Germany and other supermarkets. Um, brands in Germany, Poland and other countries and yeah we are sourcing it here from Asia and selling it overseas. Asia Pacific is set to be the largest consumer of food and beverages by 2030 creating a huge market potential for established businesses and startups in the industry. This exhibition gathers a number of participating companies who promote Thai and international products in order to form partnerships and sign a number of agreements in the business and trade sectors. Reporting for Bahrain International, I am Hamad Youssef.